currently we're living in Umaha Tikari and it's located in Changu in Bali and outside the property here is where we're parking our scooters as you can see so one of these scooters is ours for two weeks and then you walk into the property just by pushing this door and the first thing that you will notice is some fishes here in the pond swimming around yes they're getting food I see it every day I don't like when fishes are trapped but this is what you'll see and then if you walk this way you can see that we're having a pool and you're having some sun beds over there on the left hand side you can see it it's like a dining area here we're getting our breakfast every single morning and uh, you can also if you go into this kitchen here you can see that you're able to cook for yourself do your dishes and so on then you can take water here from the tap so it's saving the plastic saving the world you can also store your own food here either in this fridge or here in the freezer or in the fridge here which is awesome if you just walk from the kitchen you will be able to see our room it's the second one here hello Vanessa so you walk into this one just open this door here and you'll see a pretty large bed here some tissues lamp night lamp you can see in painting so it's quite spacey as you can see on the left hand side here we are having our, our work desk so you can put your computer here here's a power socket and we're also having a TV so if I'm standing here you can see it's pretty big pretty spacey big bed and here we can also have our clothes in this here you can see here are our clothes right now and you have power sockets here you have running water don't drink the water from the tap in Bali because you will get the Bali belly and in here we are having our bathroom as you can see pretty spacey also it's always being flooded so uh, I don't know the pipe system here in Bali but it's always flooded here we have the sink hi guys and here's the toilet this is what I love with the toilet in Bali actually now let's say that you have made number two okay you have the Bali belly and you made number two if you don't know what Bali belly is just google it then you can take this one and remove uh, yeah you know what I mean and you close it up and you flush so this is basically how much you're getting for about $22 a night and it includes breakfast everyday cleaning air conditioning and also clean water to drink we had to pay for two weeks I think it was four million five hundred and fifty thousand Indonesian rupiah which is translated to about three hundred and twenty dollars US and then we paid like six hundred and fifty thousand Indonesian rupiah for our scooter rental for like I think it was 13 days and that it's about 40 to 50 dollars give or take so that is pretty good price to rent a scooter I remember in Cyprus we rented a scooter for one day and we had to pay like 25 dollars so considering to that that is a very good price So we have just gotten our clothes back from a laundry service here in Changu, Bali. And if you are planning on using laundry service, you may want these tips. So we had two and a half kilos of clothes and for that we paid 37,500 Indonesian rupiah, which is about $2.5. So here are our clothes. They are really nicely folded and smell wonderful. So the good thing about using laundry service here in Bali is that it's very cheap. The downside though was that we actually got some stains on my top and one t-shirt got burned from the ironing and it's ruined and two t-shirts got lost. 
we never got them back so a tip for you is to maybe not bring your favorite clothes or if they are very expensive if you are planning to use laundry service if you don't feel like going out and eat you can actually order food all of this food, as you can see here, costed us about 50,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is translated to about $3.50. And we did it through an application called Gojek. And Gojek, normally you can order a car, or you can order a moped to drive you around the island. Or you can go in here and click on Go Food, which is an awesome feature that you can use to order food directly to your home and I think the delivery cost is about a few cents only in dollars so this is one trick that we're using when we're sitting here at our guest house and working and we're feeling to get food fast to our door recommend you to buy your own water bottle if you don't have one instead of buying water in a plastic bottle and actually in the description for this video you can find a link to an application on which you can find all the spots here in Bali where you can fill your water bottle for free or for a small fee that way you can help reduce single plastic use to keep a cleaner environment a side note did you know that the triangle with number one at the bottom of the plastic bottle indicates that it's only safe to use it one time? If this is exposed to heat or to the sun, it can leak harmful chemicals into the water. So that's good to know. And our plan now is to go to a gym, do some fitness, cardio, workout, sweat a little bit. And we're going to show you how a hardcore gym looks like. A gym that you only have to pay like just under $2 per session. And I think they're having like a monthly fee for about just under $15 a month, which is a bargain. So we're going to go there now and we're going to show you how that gym looks like here in Kangoo, Bali. So this was the place that I was talking about, about the gym. It's a hardcore gym, they have no air condition, but it's called Surya Gym and fitness center here in Bali, Changu. It's awesome, in my opinion. So let's go in and work out. So this is about how sweaty you look after like 30 minutes of workout here in Bali. It's incredibly warm, but this gym really does it for me. So guys, to summarize this entire video, you can live like a queen, you can live like a king, you can rent your own private villa with a private pool, everything. But you can also live pretty cheap here in Bali if you're staying at a guest house that maybe includes breakfast, if you're eating local food in Varoons and if you're renting your own scooter to get around the island. So a hack is actually to look for an accommodation that includes breakfast, cleaning and also air condition. That was it for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing on this channel, please subscribe and we hope you to see you in the next video. Bye! Bye recommend you to buy your own water bottle you can fill you can fill up your water bottle you can fill up your water bottle <laughs> <laughs>